Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing The Silent House. This is an indie horror game about being chased by serial killers. Um, I actually played the demo for this game about 11 months ago, and I enjoyed it. The full version, which we're playing now, came out about six months ago, so I'm super late, but you guys reminded me to play it in the comments of the last video for Night Ripper, so I figured Now's a great time to check it out. It is a pixelated horror game, although it was made in Unity and not Game Maker or anything like that. So I think it's just a 3D game with a pixel filter put over it. With that said, I do like the visual style, though it is not for everyone. And we're just gonna go ahead and get into it, start a new game. So probably for the first half of the video, I'll be replaying My name is I Detective I played the demo. I'm a narcotics investigator. And I've been called to a situation that, uh, pretty peculiar. Usually I deal with drug smuggling and abuse, but this is a different type of case altogether. There's been some type of incident at the location I'm headed to. Victims reported seeing shadow figures in their flesh falling off their skin. At first glance, I thought it was the drug known as Crocodile, but what makes this different is that the victims themselves weren't reported to be in a drug-induced psychosis when they were found just badly screwed up from whatever they were actually introduced to. It shows the same symptoms of anthrax poisoning, but the shadow figure sightings from each of the Vicks has me curious. Did you just nickname the victims Vicks? The Silent House. Anyway, as I was saying, probably for the first half of the video or so, I'll be replaying what I've already played in the demo, unless there's tons of new sections and it's been um, drastically changed since when I played last year. We'll hopefully breeze through it. Also, he was talking about the drug crocodile. I thought it was pronounced crocodile. Am I wrong? I'm wrong, right? Not the game. I don't know. The forest. Okay, so this is different from the demo. The demo just kind of drops you in there. Okay. Why'd you park so far away? You could have gotten a little closer. There's no parking lot here? Well, <laughs> you did a better job parking than this guy. Look at him. Th their lights are still on too. Huh. Okay. Let's go, guys. Uh, I guess we can't go in this way? Okay, here's a door over here. So this game is very Clock Tower, in my opinion. If you're not familiar with the Clock Tower series, basically you play as a helpless protagonist chased by... That would be my first cue to GTFO. Leave permanently. Um, in Clock Tower, you play as a helpless protagonist. Uh, my flashlight just turned off. And basically the game is structured around the various antagonists. They all have different styles of killing and hunting. Why don't we just stay away from the green goo? Nothing good happens around ooze. Okay. Maybe that guy just really needs a massage. His joints are aching and his trapezoid is sore. Um, can I turn on my flashlight? Oh, it just turned off by itself earlier. Okay. There's more of that ooze. What's the secret of the ooze? Oh! Picked up a key. That was a, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 reference right there. Secret of the ears. Uh, secret of the ooze. This door appears to be blocked. Secret of the ears. <laughs> okay, the door's blocked, but we do have a key. So I guess we go back then and open up a different door. Maybe this one? Door's now unlocked. Okay. Okay.
This game is also very key heavy. There's a lot of key hunting that goes on, at least in the demo that I've played. This doesn't look suspicious at all. I think if I were a detective and I found bloody garbage bags outside of the place I was going to, I would call in for backup. That's enough evidence to conduct a thorough team investigation. Okay. Oh no! Who's that? There's somebody at the end of the hallway! I'm getting gassed! Three hours later. What happened to me during that time? The mansion. Okay, this is where the demo starts off. Okay, so we found ourselves in bed. This is gonna be uh, our grandmother outside with a baseball bat. That's a reference to Granny, sorry. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Not really. This is all sarcasm. Welcome to my channel. I have no fear. I feel no pain. When I see their faces, I feel anger. This is really all that is left for me. For the others, I don't know. They might be still here. I haven't seen them for a while. If there was just some sign of life, I don't deserve this. No idea what you're talking about. I'm just gonna leave this place, I guess? I don't really care about reading your uh, awful poetry. Okay, now if I remember correctly, I did play this 11 months ago. Aha! There's a lever here, or a switch. There's a lot of thunder happening. It's like constantly thundering. Now it died down. The door requires a key. Okay. Let's go look for it then. My flashlight isn't equipped. The door is now unlocked. Right, because I got a key for it. It is constantly thundering. That's the storm of the century brewing overhead right now. Sounds like there will be a storm soon. No shit, Sherlock. What tipped you off? Was it the constant thunder? Door seems to be blocked. Oh, wait! What? You can hide! That wasn't in the demo. Oh, cool! Can you hide under the tables? Oh, you can. Those are both things you couldn't do in the demo. Very neat. We are very short. <laughs> Dinner table comes up to our hips. So where to go now? So I, I have an extra key. But I don't know where it goes. Oh, it goes to, uh, to the back of the library. That's where it goes. Here we go. This door is now unlocked. Heck yes it is. This door seems to be blocked. This door seems to be blocked. Really useful that this guy can determine the exact reasons that doors are closed. If they're blocked, we know not to waste our time. If they're locked, he knows to look for a key. There's a window into another room. I don't know why you would want that. Uh, You picked up an axe! This door seems to be blocked. By what? I think your diagnosis is wrong. This door seems to be blocked. Okay. Well, we got an axe, so... That's good. We have a defense weapon. You can hide in closets. Thanks! This door requires a key. Okay. So we'll go look for one. Man, my guy's out of breath. Somebody needs to work out a little bit. Maybe sign up for CrossFit, buddy. You removed the barrier. Oh, with the axe. Right.
You picked up a key. Hmm. So we found a key. Is it this thing back here? This door? Door is now unlocked. So I still don't have a flashlight. You can hide beneath objects. Thank you. I'm hoping I didn't miss it. This building is larger than I thought. Well, yeah, we're going down like three stories. The wine cellar. Here we go. Here's a flashlight. I should take that flashlight. Thank you. What happened to the one that you had earlier? I'll just have the flashlight constantly on, probably. What's happening to me? What did I ever do wrong? I don't even know my name anymore. Where am I? God, save me. I can't endure this any longer. Suck it up, dude. Another key. I think I pointed this out when I played the demo, but look at how sad this is. Table for one. Our lonely bachelor. Having a candlelight dinner in his spacious wine cellar. Okay. It's okay, man. Chin up. Someday you'll be able to get a date. The door is now unlocked. What's going on? This door seems to be blocked. Right. Oh. Okay. This place is kind of a maze. Okay, I just ran around the whole thing and... There was nothing there. What's this? Okay. Oh, a table for two! Our lonely bachelor found themselves a date. I just had this dream that I was walking a black and slim corridor. Was it the wine? I definitely had more than usual, but I think it was something else. This wasn't the first time this happened. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like a steam control panel. Control is spelled with one L, not two. There we go, the machine is now running. Very thankful that we didn't have to flip the levers in any sort of order. We just kind of went for it. What, what is with this person and windows that look into other closed off rooms? You spying on people in there? What's going on? Okay, let's uh, what happened? Let's leave. So the machine is now running, right? <gasps> Someone knocking on the door? Oh, back to a table for one. They got frustrated. They flipped the chair. Hey man, if you don't have much wine, you probably don't need a giant wine cabinet like this. Like what? You got, what is this, 11? Yeah, 17 bottles. Oh, okay. Maybe they drank all of it. Can't you just... Oh, this isn't natural light. Although it is very intense. I'm sorry, but who is this person in the background breathing the whole time? <sighs> Do you hear that? Wait, this wasn't here before. Oh, you're right, it wasn't. But I do remember something from the demo. There it is. There's a key here. I don't know what causes that key to appear, but it's there now. Okay. Somebody's out of breath in the background. Do we go this way? Up or down? Door seems to be blocked. Do we go up? 
we go down. Finally out of here. That was the game, guys. The Silent House. Although... For a game called The Silent House, there's a lot of noise happening in there. Constant thunder, constant breathing, just horrific things happening. I forgot, I forgot! Ooh. Ah! Oh my god, he saw me! <laughs> okay. So we're back to this, are we? Alright, this sequence appears to be very similar to the one from the demo. I was just seeing if I could hide from him, but I had my light on. My flashlight on, obviously. So he respotted me. Let's go. Let's try it again. There we go. That's cool. The the only disadvantage here is I have no idea where he went. Oh, there he is. There he is. I see him. You can maybe barely see him in the background. Let's go. He can't see us. He has no idea where we are right now. Oh, what? Okay, here. What? There's no levers! There used to be levers in this courtyard in the demo version. There's no levers. What? Oh! Oh! That segment was much improved from the demo. So, in that courtyard in the demo version, there were four levers that you had to switch, and there was no way to lose the killer. You couldn't hide, like I did under the table. So you just had to do it all in one go, running around the courtyard. It was hard. Um, it was pretty challenging. I'm clearly going insane. Kind of ironic. Clearly. For the next days, I will stay in my small room. It's for their safety. Should I go mad when others are around? Would be an unbelievable carnage. Is is this the guy that we just saw that chased us down and was trying to murder us? They're trying to tell us that they're exercising self-restraint. The door is now unlocked. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you where the levers were. They were where these stones are. Anyway, kind of neat. Uh, let's go back in though, because I think Door seems to be blo I just opened it! Alright, so now we gotta go back through the dark hallway. We open this up. It's a key. This is- Fun fact, this is actually where the killer spawns. That's the door that we came in, and we, he chases down this hallway. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, this door. This door is now unlocked! Good! Door seems to be blocked. Why is nobody here? Gee, I wonder. Maybe it's the killer on the loose. Murdering everyone with a knife. Only this crazy gardener. Maybe, maybe the crazy gardener killed everyone. Ever think of that? Okay, let's keep going. Dude. Do you hear this guy? Stop playing MMOs all day and get some exercise. Take a walk. It's a miracle that you survived. Let me make this perfectly clear. You survived because of me, okay? The workshop, this is different. This was not in the demo. I promise I'll shut the fuck up about the demo soon. Sorry. Oh, this is different than it was in the demo. Oh, this wasn't here before. I don't remember this last time I played. The door is now unlocked. Right, but... 
We didn't go in here. Not that there's anything interesting in here, as it turns out. This door seems to be blocked. Okay, so... Oh! Wait. Do we go in here? No. These rooms have so many doors. And so few of them matter. Okay, so I guess they do wood cutting here. Okay. Am I gonna have to run through there? This has to be. I'm gonna get chased through this. For sure, right? Who lit a candle in the vent? This ventilation shaft really needs to be uh, more romantic, I think. I think I'll place several candles in here. I like that. I like the little fan shadow. That's cool. What is going on? Door seems to be blocked. Yeah, it sure does. How do we know that it doesn't require a key? How do we know that the blocked doors aren't simply locked? Oh. Another candle. Hmm. And we got these funny looking plants. Sorry, I don't mean to like appearance shame the plants. Was this, uh, Hodgier's wood? Or requires a key. Okay. Employee report. Name. Hogler Crook. Oh, Hogler. Okay. Date of birth. 1962, August 13th. Qualifications. 26 years of experience in the field of woodcrafting? That's like as long as I've been alive. This dude's been doing woodcrafting for as long as some people have been alive. Biography. Hogler was born in Germany and moved to Great Britain in 1986. Employer's comment. Hogler is really skilled with his work. He has made a lot of new furniture for the whole mansion. He is incredibly trained and can lift a lot of heavy wood at once. He is one of our most appreciated employees. Well, I'd hope so because it says Hogler's Wood. But I guess maybe it was named that after this employee took over the business? It's the only reasonable assumption you can make. Found a key. What's with this goo? Don't touch the ooze. It's not just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that suffer from the ooze. It's also, uh, the Power Rangers. Ivan Ooze, anyone? not a good thing to have. Um, that's a chair with blood underneath it? Wouldn't want to sit there. Okay. Is that an X? Well... Usually when you see X's in this game, it means don't go this way. So, hope I didn't make a terrible mistake. Beds! For six people? Huh, I don't know. Wait, did I just leave? I don't want to leave. Hogler's wood? Why is there a question mark? Can I go back? It's blocked! I just came through it! We're about to get chased, aren't we? Door seems to be blocked. It's gotta be this. 
All right, big decision. Up or down? Let's go up. Oh. Okay, so we got a key door at the top of the staircase. What? How far down do we go? Wow. I don't trust this situation. So we're just gonna walk all the way up, peacefully. I guess so. What the candles are going out? Different when I turn around. Hello. Can I go in here? No. Plants. What's going on out there? Is someone gnashing their teeth? You're stressed, man. People grind their teeth in their sleep when they're stressed. Oh, sure, let's head over there. Excuse me, kind sir. Could you please tell me the way out of this netherworld, please? Did I say please twice? I'm sorry, I'm not that desperate. Oh no, oh this is sand, it's not ooze. Or sawdust. God. Hogler's Wood. Here we are, we're in Hogler's Wood again. Door requires a key, we'll, we'll look for that. More of the plants. So clearly they're making like a drug from the plants, right? Ah. A green bed. Once again. Odd windows. I know it's not exactly a window, but... Uh, okay. So suddenly we're outside. Picked up a key. So we just head back now? Wait, what door was... Is it this one? Okay. I couldn't remember which one required a key. What? Something down here. Excuse you. Whoa! 
Oh, he went in there. He went in there. Wait, he's walking around. There he is. Where's he going? Okay. No, I, I, I hear him running around. There he is out there. Cutter. He's deadlier than the gardener. I I got turned around because the music got me. Okay, we see him over there. I'm just not sure exactly where I need to go. Okay. See him right there? Now where does he go? I see him at the end right there. Okay, there he is, so... It seems like he... And then he runs back the other way. Right, I went in there. Okay. So I see, hmm. You can't see me. Oh, that worked. That worked. Somebody's got bad eyesight. Maybe you need glasses, sir. Get out of here. Don't go that way. I wanna go that way. Not allowed to go that way. Okay. Hopefully they won't see my shoulder sticking out right here. Bye bye. Wait, wait, don't go down there. No! Why, why are you running? I think he just randomly runs. Go the other way. Let's go in the vent. Ah! This vent sucks! As it turns out. Okay, we can just spy on him from here. This is my little spy vent. Okay, I wanna go in that door, I think. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. What the? What? Here? I don't know where I'm going. Follow the blood. Oh shit. He's definitely behind me. Where's this lead? Safety is the answer. It leads to safety. Okay. So it turns out Hogler's kind of a Douche waffle. Uh, the greenhouses. The people here really liked wine, didn't they? Yeah. There's a lot of wine bottles, Sherlock. Glad you freaking noticed. This is locked with a mechanism. Oh, wait. I think I know what to do here. Aha! Okay. Maybe not. My name is Jimmy Blackborn. I have been working as a gardener for the last 13 years. About a week ago, I started noticing strange hallucinations and murderous thoughts. This is now all I can remember. Well, that's not much, but I can't resist. I'm going now. Okay, so looks like the gardener and the woodcutter are both suffering from... There we go. Use the lever. From... 
homicidal delusions brought on by some sort of drug. The door is now unlocked. Okay. Door is blocked. Hello. Let's say, uh, the door seems to be blocked. Sometimes it's hard to read because it's white text behind a flashlight. Uh, okay. So it's these plants again. These plants look really strange. I mean, they look like plants, but okay. Whatever, man. If you think regular plants are really weird, then... Oh! Picked up a key. These plants are yellow. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Nope, I don't like that. I don't like having... What, three different ways to go? Which way do you go? Okay, so this connects with the other one, I'm guessing. Store is locked with a mechanism. Gotcha. And then that one, okay, okay. So these all connect. Red plants. Hmm. I don't like this. What the? Ah, shit, not this guy again. Ah! Okay, I know what to do here. I flipped all the levers though. Did you see that? It was really good. Is this a rake? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think we can get the. I guess these rec uh, rakes are just decorations. You know what would be really cool? Is if we could push them back with the rake. That's what would be cool. Here goes. Here we go, it's open, it's open. There he is. Ah, ha, ha. You have been foiled. Meet your match, gardener. Ah. Uh. I don't think being a match for a gardener is really that much of an accomplishment. So, I found a key. Do you like that little, uh, truck juke right there? Or as I like to call it, a, a truke? There we go. Where am I? Wait, this shouldn't be here. How do you know that? Were you the architect for this place? Do you have the original blueprints? Alright. I'm very familiar with this place. Shoot. What on earth is happening? It's called a dream sequence, buddy. Wow. Oh, fuck. Somebody hanging. Uh. Wait, is it? Yeah, okay, this way. And then there's one over here. Blood trail. Okay, so the plants are emitting some sort of gas. Do we fall? 
all the yeah this way slowly going insane do you remember i always do now i'll arrive soon what there's a door right here didn't i just come from here Hard to say, it does look the same. Listen to this Sierra ass music right here. And it's gone. Nope, it's back. It changed again? What? Okay, let's just follow the lights. Uh. So wait, so we follow the music? Whoa! It was just a dream. I fell asleep on the comfortable concrete. Door seems to be blocked. Okay. Okay, so... This seems like a peaceful, serene, safe area to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Mail report. April 25th, 1987. Time of arrival, 7.52 p.m. All packages are here and in good condition. I check the boxes as always. What the hell is that stuff? Drugs. Crocodiles. As the kids call them. I can see that on a news report. The kids are calling drugs crocodiles. Must be really confusing for some people. What if your child worked at a zoo? What'd you do today, son? Ah, uh, me and Joshua were just hanging out with the crocodiles. Son, don't do drugs, okay? I think I'm going mad. What do you think that? I got a key. Oh. <laughs> it's just a little shortcut there. Do any of these open? The doors are blocked. I'm looking for a door that requires a key. Maybe there's one down here? You know where you are? You in Silent Hill. Door is now unlocked. Oh, use the lever. Okay. Door seems to be blocked. I hear flies. Okay, give me a second, man. Door is locked with a mechanism. Okay, so we've got to find another switch somewhere. Was there another door that was locked with a mechanism? Because maybe that just opened it. One back here. Here we go. Use the button. The machine is now running. Huh. Okay, and this goes to... Hard to say, because the cable kind of disappears. But I bet it goes to this door right here. Oh yeah, it's now open. Door seems to be blocked. Which way do we go? Hmm. 
I'm gonna go the opposite way of the blood trail. This goes behind here. Oh my god. I'm not sure if this was suicide. If anyone reads this, please know that I am not acting freely anymore. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't forced to kill him, but I'm not feeling right lately. I overreact in the act of slaughter and stab and chop blindly to mangle the carcasses. Fuck me, I'm so sick! Edge. So I think this is the gardener. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Well, hopefully he stays that way anyway. The butchery. Okay. Yeah, okay, here we go. Cool. Really strange. First it were only the boxes. Now the pigs start smelling too. A mix of lemon and and something else that starts irritating your nose as soon as you smell it. I really don't want to ask anybody or I'll probably get fired. Really strict rules here, but if this continues, I have to do something, right? Hmm. Those plants again. All right. So the pigs are smelly. Who, who would have predicted that? Ugh, the smells. Oh. Why would someone block this? I don't know, but we're gonna have to Wait, we have an axe, don't we? Find something to remove this. I guess I no longer have the axe. That's a shame. Man, if you're in this situation and you find an axe, hold on to it for dear life, would ya? Okay, let's go upstairs. Ugh! This place is a pigsty. Hey, listen, I know that I know the jokes are bad. I know they can oh scarcely be considered jokes But I think that's funny <laughs> If it's not funny, I think it's funny just a base rule It's called anti-humor I don't know I don't know what I'm doing. Actually, I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh! Absolutely disgusting. You picked up an axe. Okay, now we can get through the boards. Hey, can I just say something? Just a real quick little side note. Nothing to do with the game or anything. As a YouTube personality, I, f I found... I've noticed that it's very popular to put yourself down, particularly your intelligence. Don't sell yourself short. Don't walk around in your videos like, oh, I got a million subs, but I'm trash. I can't do anything right. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't do that. It's, for one thing, it's an, it annoys me. The most important thing, right? We gotta wait for this dude to catch his breath. But other than that, if you start talking down to yourself so will other people they'll think well since that guy talks down to himself I can do it too it does not incite praise to self-deprecate are you alright man we need to get a move on what do you need to crouch I haven't been running around that much calm thyself Now, sometimes I, I self-deprecate myself. It's a trap that everyone falls into. The door is now unlocked. They must have been rotting in here for ages. Disgusting, dude. I was watching, um... I got YouTube Red recently because, if you don't know, YouTube Red actually supports creators a lot better than just watching ads does. And you also get ad-free Whatever the fuck, so I was like, I might as well just do it. I want to support my friends. Definitely not a nice place to work. I mean, other than the blood on the desk and the flies, that's really the only thing detracting from the work environment. There we go. 
uh, and I was watching a YouTube Red exclusive show, and it was all these YouTubers, and like, they were, I'm not gonna say the name of the series or anything, because I don't want to promote it <laughs> in any way. Uh, and they were, they were just kind of sitting around chatting, they were like, they had puzzles they needed to solve. Oh my, I need to get out of here. How is this your first hint, buddy? No, the psychopaths chasing you down with garden shears and knives and buzz saws and shit. It's this body that did it for you. Anyway, they're they're like trying to solve puzzles and like half of them, like big YouTubers, they're like, oh, you need to know math to skip this puzzle? I skipped that class. And it's just like, come on. It's not cool to be ignorant. It's just not. He, he just locked me in here. He said he'll be right back, but I was... It, it was the look on his face while he said it. He looked so hungry and excited. I can smell the death from the Frigdes. Somebody help me. I don't want to die. I mean, I wish that the notes were written with better grammar and spelling, but... We'll look past it for now. This game isn't selling for money or anything, I don't, I don't think. This door is now unlocked. And if it was just one comment, you know, like, ah, I don't know math, I would have been like, whatever. But they were all doing it. There were several. Shit, that's the nastiest thing I've ever seen. See, they're being hung up next to the pigs. What's going on in this place? I'm watching you, buddy. I better stay away from that guy. What? Okay. Yeah, duly noted. Don't worry, I wasn't planning on getting close to him. We're we going. That isn't open. Door seems to be blocked. Door seems to be blocked. What? Wait, so this this is a pointless hallway then. This is my place now. Everyone else who enters will regret it. I'll chop and rip and- What the hell am I writing? I'm crazy. Stop it. Please make it stop. No, you're not crazy. You are, uh... Hallucinating due to drugs. From what we learned in the beginning, at least. Seems to be blocked. What- where are we? Oh, there's blood here. There's blood. I can hide in here. That's nice. Door seems to be blocked. So wait, so this is just a dead end too. Run into a lot of dead ends. Oh, that's the other side. Okay. Oh, shit! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where am I? So that's where they came from. Alright, let's go. Oh shit! Oh no! Ah! Oh, I almost made it! I almost made it. I know I can hide under the tables and I'll make it easier, but I just want to do it all in one go. Let's go!
Oh, we made it in one go! The gas again. Catch your breath, dude. Catch your breath. <laughs> anyway, I know that was a really weird aside I had in the butchery back there about self-deprecation, but... Be a role model. Be somebody people can look up to. Not somebody that people can look down on and treat like their entertainment monkey. Dance, monkey, dance! Don't be that person. There we go, we're done. The... Butchery? So, I think it's about time to clarify. From this moment onward. No idea what happens. Because the demo ended back there. Just so you know. What? Is there a... Huh? Oh. Oh, it's changing the environment around me. Got it. I understand. Hmm. Oh, I thought it wasn't recording my microphone audio for a second. Sorry! I hate having little- oh. Something knocked it over. I hate having little moments like that in the video where I talk about technical bullshit no one cares about. Oh, this isn't the ideal resolution to run this game. My frame rate keeps dropping. Use the button. Well, so we're just gonna run from button to button? It's another dream sequence. These are all down. There's another one over here. What? Who is that? You use the button. I think it's over here. So we're just running from button to button. I think there's one over here? Getting tougher to see him. Oh no! I think you have to die. Is this supposed to happen? Okay, so I restarted the game. Hopefully, doesn't bug out this time. Here we go. Shoot. I can't run. I can't run. Neither can he, though, I, th I think. Who's this? Yeah, hello. Uh-oh. Let's just leave him there. Follow the lights. I think we just follow the lights, at least. Keep going. Okay, here's the door. No. That was very mean. Here's the door. Don't disappear this time. Keep going. Do we lose him? My god. Fuck me. Not nah, now's not the time, buddy. Why has this shit happened to me? Well, you are a detective who came alone to this place at night to investigate something that you should have been clued into uh, at the beginning. Needed a team of people to investigate. Finally, some fresh air. Watch what you wish for, buddy. I'm just 
we just go in here. Well, there's some fresh air. Let's go back inside. Let's immediately go back inside where there's no fresh air. Dr. Stone here. Listen, the situation is getting pretty critical. Staff members reported serious abuse of a substance. Allegedly, people were spotted while pouring it into the lake. And if that's true, we have to act quickly. Are you still there? Oh, good. Focus. I can't take any chances, and the last thing the organization needs is a whistleblower. Just pretend you have some urgent issues or something and knock them out. Just, I don't know, lock them up in the bunkers and maybe also inject them some of the substance so they don't ask any questions. I guess we can't clean the lake anymore. Crap. Anyways, do as I said, or you'll be the next one to end up getting fired. That guy's German. I hope it's not a Nazi mad scientist. That would be a cliche. They wouldn't do that. Would they? <laughs> What's so funny? You know what? I, I think I better just not find out. I'm cool with not knowing. Maybe they've got a funny joke. What? I thought he was dead. Where? Oh, was somebody on the bridge? I must have missed it. He thought he was dead. Well, who was it? Crap, now we don't know. It could be the gardener. It could be the butcher, the woodcutter, the candlestick man, the baker. Door seems to be blocked. Is there somebody in there? Somebody feeling sorry for themselves. Gas B, gas, let's switch it to gas A. Maybe we should have done that. Maybe we shouldn't have used the evil green gas. Okay. I don't think that was a good thing for us to do. The boathouse. I hope that didn't affect the ending or some stupid crap like that. You get the bad ending because you chose to give him gas A instead of gas B, even though you didn't know what the two different types of gases were. You should have known. So what, are we just getting on the boat? Hang on, there's a door over here. What? There's another boat. I don't think we're getting on the boats. I think they're just here for decoration. Cool environments though. Wow! Somebody wrote a novel. Dear Dr. Stone, I don't know if you've received any calls already, but employees talked to me because they were concerned about the currently ongoing lake experiment. An employee once said this to me, your kind of science doesn't even serve any kind of useful purpose anymore. God damn it. I am not willing to inject your stupid substance into random innocent sea creatures just to see the horrible side effects it has on them. I honestly don't see many options other than just getting rid of these employees. And before I forget, I also wanted to inform you about serious mutations on the crustacea uh, specimens. I almost said species. Let's just say they've grown a bit in the past week. Sincerely, Alan Brooks, advisor and lab observer. Feels very Resident Evil. What are we gonna fight like a giant shark named Neptune or something? Okay, go. Oh, okay. I get it. Crouch. The flies again. Somebody needs to get a maid. Maid service isn't that expensive. I mean, I've, I haven't used it myself, but I'm just going off of what I've heard. Picked up a key. Good. Um. Dude, what the hell is that? That looks like... 
a crab arm? Please don't affect me, green goo. Somebody in the comments is gonna be like, um, actually, crab arms don't look like that. <laughs> it's a different type of crustacean. Uh, Crustacea lobsterus, I believe. <laughs> this is a scientific name. The boat's gone here. What does that mean? It's a vent. The door seems to be blocked. How come all the vents are open? Can I just say, these vents don't even have like fans or anything. So they're not used as part of like the AC unit or anything. So why do they exist? If only the developer had thought of that right, then this game wouldn't be so bad. It's only bad because it's unrealistic, it breaks my immersion. Why are the vents? Sarcasm again. Employee report. Name. Blank. Date. Blank. Issue. Fuck the formalities. What the hell is this? I started my normal work day and had a big task with repairing one of the observation boats. After saying it away, I sat next to the waterway and had lunch. I almost vomited straight into the water when I saw a pale and rotten looking face followed by a completely emaciated body silently floating along the surface. I don't know where it came from, but I'm not the only one who has noticed the green glowing streaks on the water lately. Trust me, man, I'm not staying here for much longer. I'm going to give them my resignation tomorrow. Well, okay, help you write your name on that one, or else they won't know. The sewers! Obligatory sewer segment in a horror game. Let's do this. They completely drained the sewers. Interesting. That opens up. So wait, can we go back here? This looks like it might go somewhere. Door seems to be blocked. Well, don't make me come all the way out here then. Why are you doing this to me? Instructions for sewer pump station. The exit to the canals can only be opened when the water is removed from them. Opening them without draining the water will result in an instant flooding of the sewer system. The draining process requires four pumps that are located in different areas of the sewers to provide the fastest drainage possible. The water from the canals will be stored in the central drainage basin. To initiate the draining process, the pumps must be confirmed at the master pump station. Did you guys get all that? I kind of just... My eyes kind of glazed over a little bit just now. They said pump a lot of times. I know that much. What? What? No, he's over there! Fuck. <laughs> yes! Get thwarted. What? Fuck! Hang on. So what? Pump A? Pump A is ready for draining. Hiding. Because he's going to come in. You know he is. You know he's gonna do it. Here he comes. Yeah, this is the gardener. I thought he was dead. Get out of here. Go on home. No one wants you here. Ah! <laughs> Why did he come back in? He had no reason to come back in. Hello. Bye bye. <laughs> Uh oh. That was a Teletubby noise. Not that I know what Teletubbies sound like. Don't watch that dumbass show. Hi. Hey. 
You know how adult men who like My Little Pony are called bronies? What would the same person be called if they're like Teletubbies? A brubby? Oh, come on! Just leave! I think he's bugged out by pump A. He keeps coming back inside. I don't have any time to react. Look at him. There we go. Okay, so pump A is ready for draining. It always, it jars me. Okay, instead of going there, we can go in the side door. I wish I had known that. That way he doesn't spot you right away. Okay. There we go. Pumpty's ready? He- it looks like he's not out yet. Oh my god, this is the workaround. Then I get Pump C. Pump C's ready for draining. Okay, now... He comes out like right there, I think. Um... Okay, so then I just gotta get A and B. So this is what you do. There he goes. There we go. So now we're in pump A. So that's what you do. You go through the side door, you do D and C, and then you can do the other two pumps. Okay. I feel a lot better about this now. He's gonna come in, and then he's gonna leave, right? There we go. Pompey is ready for draining. Oh, you came running back in, right? Door seems to be blocked. Crap. So you gonna come over here? Hi. Remember me? Fuck. This is gonna be tough. So he goes to the right, but then it's like he immediately comes back, goes there, and then he turns around. Fuck, I'm back at pump A. Where's pump B? <sighs> Fuck! Jeez. This is a bad spot to be, I think. Okay. There 
we go. There we go. Pump B, holy shit. Huh. Okay. So we got all four of the pumps. Now we just gotta get to where he spawned from. I think. So I just gotta get to that table. Jeez, man. Leave. Right here. What? Okay, here we are. Oh my god! Fucking leave, dude! Go, go, go. Go, go, go. The canals are being drained! Yeah. Didn't like that part. <laughs> So what now? Okay. Don't chase me out here, please. Oh. That's a truck. Blood? Follow the blood. What's going on here? What is this? Go! The water, it's rising. Please, no! You asshole! One asshole, okay. Here we go. Ah. God. <laughs> I thought that there was some crazy new killer that was after me, but it was just the water rising. That's open. That's open. I don't think there's really anything over here. Is this barbed wire? Those are huge barbs. It's the gas. We gotta destroy this, man. 
We gotta get rid of all this gas. Let's get in the vent. Man. What the ooze? I'm so sick of seeing that ooze. Let's destroy it. Okay. In the vent. Again. Hmm. What's at the end of this vent? Man, at the end of this video, I'm gonna need to vent. You interrupted my pun. It's the silent house. Never forget. Something's with me in the vents. That sounded close. That sounded really close. What is going on? Did I just get lucky? Was there something in there with me? can't move around. Who is sniffing? Get a tissue. Sorry if you guys couldn't understand what he was saying. Basically, we're getting the effects of the gas. I guess we're the next maniac? Yes. 
she is so right, like any other guy I tested it on. Excuse me, I've got to go back to the lab. Still got some work to do. All right, thank you. What? What? How did you... What the fuck are you doing? What... Oh, so we kill him. I'm surprised that hadn't happened until now. <laughs> How come I'm the first person to kill him? Thank you so much for playing The Silent House. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Game created by Nicholas Lowe. All right. Well, guys, that was The Silent House. Seems to be all made by one dude. So that is definitely respectable. First things first. I'm gonna take off the headphones because the song's really loud. Um, so my thoughts about the Silent House full version. So I think some things were improved from the demo that I played. It was much easier to see. So the brightness was improved. I could actually see where I was going. Uh, the demo was very dark for those of you that didn't see or play that. Uh, hey, there I am. Hey, there's me. Oh, and I didn't play the full version for like six months. Oh, no, I feel bad. Risk Rim and 8-Bit Gaming are in there too. Those guys are awesome. Uh, right, back to what I was saying. Um, I think the addition of stealth in the game was very wise, being able to hide under tables and cabinets. I think the only downside is that sometimes, because of that, they had to put tables and cabinets in places that didn't really make sense, like in the sewers. Uh, doesn't, they don't really fit there, but you gotta have them for a place to, to hide, right? So I, you know, while I do definitely appreciate that you can now hide from the stalkers, the killers, uh, at some points it was kind of like, mm, I don't know if there should be a cabinet in the sewer pump station, especially with nothing in it. But uh, yeah, I think this is an above average horror game, but it's not great. And I think one of the reasons that it's not, oop, oh, there we go. And I think one of the reasons that it's not great is because it's a little drawn out. Um, and I think also the voice acting wasn't necessary. I think that if you're gonna have voice acting in your game, it needs to be really good. And I don't think the voice acting in the game was bad per se, but it was not really good. And so it kind of detracted from the experience a little bit. Like, I don't think that... The only times that there were voice acting were the bad guy, who we killed at the end, which you could barely understand him most of the time on the phone call and over the loudspeaker. Uh, there's no subtitles as well, which I thought was a little odd. And then in the introduction for the main character, which I think that could have just been text. I think it all could have been text. Uh, I, appreciated, I appreciated that there were three different killers. There was the gardener, the butcher, and the woodcutter. However, we mostly saw the gardener, and I think he's probably the least interesting of the three, and I thought that he died, maybe I missed something. I thought that he definitely was killed. Um, I think the game could have benefited from some variety in the killers. The chase sequences are the best thing about this game. And oddly, my favorite one is the one in the butchery, even though it's arguably the worst designed one. Uh, the first one with the gardener is cool, because, like, you have to loop into a building, grab a key, loop back out. Um, in the demo, there were levers in the courtyard, so there was a lot more, like, uh, running around and dodging attacks, kind of like you do in the greenhouse. Um, but that one was probably the best designed in my opinion, but I like the one in the butchery even though it's just a bunch of hallways with right door, wrong door. Because it's just, 
it, it feels so fast. It feels so thrilling, and I like that about it. And that's definitely what you want chase sequences to feel like. Um, I didn't try hiding much during the chase sequences because I liked it to stay high octane. I thought it was paced better that way. But uh, I understand why they're there. It definitely makes sense. I think overall the Silent House is good. I mean, like I said, I think it's free. It's on Game Jolt. I'll leave a link in the description. I can't remember if I got it for free from the developer and it costs money or if it's just free to download. So, um... Either way, though, this is better than most of the stuff that comes out these days in the indie horror genre. I can't say it's a standout title, though. I can't say that it's something I'm going to want to revisit in the future, or if somebody asked me, like, where are some good indie horror games? I don't know if I would say The Silent House. But, you know, I, I appreciate it for what it is, and, you know... Maybe I am a little bit biased because, like I said, I do like pixelated art style games. Like, I'm scared of Pixelated Nightmare, which I bring up every chance I can get. Or, I'm scared 2016, the updated, better version. I think that game is brilliant. I think it does so many cool things. And that's a completely pixelated game made in Game Maker. But, that it's like a native natively pixelated game whereas and I might be wrong but I think this game has a pixel filter over it and I think that the visuals do suffer as a result because sometimes it's just like a little too pixelated like right here on the menu screen seeing seeing the the antagonist literally reduced to blocks of pixels is a little it does take away from it a little bit and I'm not trying to be like a graphics or everything person because I thoroughly do not believe that. But sometimes I think pixelated games can be a little too low res. Uh, and I think this game is one of them. With that said, I, I do think it did a lot of good things. And I like to mainly focus on that because I realize I might have a personal bias there. And let me just say, I know that... I know that a lot of people are just going to write this off as soon as they see it just because it's got quote bad graphics and I'm guessing all these people were born after the year 2000 or something. Um, these are not bad graphics per se. Uh, it's it's stylized and I think it, I, I would rather have a stylized game like this that has a certain semi-unique look to it than just another 3D first person horror game in Unity which we've seen a thousand times already, and using assets that all kind of look the same that we've seen before. So this definitely uh, had more of a unique take. So, you know, while I don't particularly like these graphics, I do like the fact that they are stylized in such a way, if that makes sense. All right, let me know what you guys thought about the game and this video in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Think critically.